Well, I have some very surprising news for you all today about Anthem. Hey everyone, what's up? Overworld Games here. Hope you all are doing good today, and let's do this. Let's talk about the latest Anthem news. Okay, so, today we're talking about Anthem's sales numbers. This is pretty surprising for sure. You know, previously, we've heard reports that the physical sales were absolutely doing horrible, which honestly is expecting because physical copies of games are basically dying anyway. But finally, the MPD group released their findings about how Anthem has been performing in digital and physical sales. This does not include PC numbers. And if you don't know who the MPD is, they are the go-to group uh, when it comes to sales numbers for video games and so on and so forth. But let's get into this right now. So this is Matt Piscelli of the MPD group. He says this, Anthem was the best-selling game of February 2019 and it is now the second best-selling game of 2019. Anthem represents the second highest launch month sales ever recorded for a Bioware developed game, trailing only the March 2012 release of Mass Effect 3. Honestly, I was not expecting this news at all. I was like hoping that the game did okay, which you know, this would be classified as the game doing okay as I get into this. It's not like it did absolutely astronomical. And the question is how many uh, users were retained from you know launch until now we're going to talk about that a little bit more here in just a moment but yes anthem uh, sat on the very top of the sales charts for february 2019 beating out jump force kingdom hearts 3 far cry new dawn and the like now of course it didn't have a uh, heavy hitter in terms of an open world game as its competition like a red dead redemption 2 or borderlands 3 something within its exact same space so you got to consider that but it did have i will say this it did have another shooter type game uh apex legends which is not on that sales chart uh which did release alongside of it and it was a battle royale but i still think in some way that that did influence anthem sales numbers of course uh, but again it is still a different genre it's battle royale uh people like pve and then people like battle royale but uh, i definitely think it still influenced it but as we get into this a little bit more, Inside Gaming Daily did have some things that they did find out through number crunching the sales figures for Anthem. And they tried to add on PC sales figures. figures. Uh, so they came up with this, that Anthem so far roughly has sold around 3.6 million units. Now EA wants this game to sell about 6 million uh, you know, units by uh, the end of March, beginning of April or something like that. So it's... Who knows if we'll hit that number, but you have to remember that Anthem's numbers do not include Origin Access at all. It doesn't include Premiere, so that's definitely a wrinkle in the uh, sales charts and the number figures for sure. I, I have a question for you, so that's my biggest question for you all, is how did you, how are you experiencing Anthem? Did you purchase it through Origin Access? Are you uh, buying it digitally on PS4, Xbox One, PC? Please let me know how many of you guys are actually using Origin Access uh, as your basically platform to play Anthem. That's what I'm using, so it's definitely very interesting because it already opens up a whole library of other games too, so why not use it? Plus you get early access and stuff like that. So for me personally, it makes a lot of sense to definitely use that. Now if we compare Anthem and see how it's doing compared to other games, Resident Evil 2 actually sold 3 million units worldwide in its first week of sales. Most impressive indeed. And again, according to the sales charts here, it uh, actually did beat out Resident Evil 2 Kingdom Hearts 3. That's surprising to me. Like, seriously, that really blows my mind right there. Of course, you got to remember that EA, they're experts at marketing and stuff like that. Uh, but... Yeah, the biggest question is, is how many users have been retained since launch? You know, that's a big issue, of course. And I've seen a drop-off myself, and that's going to be only natural with every single game. You've seen that from many games lately, like Red Dead Redemption Online. That's had a pretty significant drop-off as well. And then, you know, even like, you know, games like Apex Legends have uh, experienced that as well. That game is still booming, of course. Uh, but in terms of Anthem, the drop-off has definitely been more severe for sure because people want new content which we will be getting legendary missions next week and a bunch of updates uh next week the elysian chest which i'm super excited for with the vanity items and stuff like that that with the stronghold so that's something i'm looking forward to but let's go over some more community reactions to the sales numbers right now so 
This was one of the reactions from Akira Boraz who says this. Hype causes most of those cells. It's freaking Bioware. How many players quit is the real story. And he got a lot of people agreeing with him on that one. That is going to be the real story. And, you know, if players decide to really come back to the game, they've got to do something super impressive within Act 1, uh, which I think players will come back in April for the Stronghold, of course. They're going to hop back in. They're going to want to try that no matter what. And then the Cataclysm for sure in May. The Cataclysm and the Stronghold really have to impress. And then that back-end system with the Mastery uh, progression system, which is going to be added with the pilot skills, that's going to also ha going to have to be something that impresses too. So all this stuff has to come in place uh, post-launch for Bioware. Also, we have some more things that were said here. Uh, Cold as Heaven says this, I mean it was the only high-profile game at launch. The fact Jump Force and Anime Fighter was second shows that also EA, EA Access, excuse me, doesn't count as game sells. Even No Man's Sky was top when it came out. Uh, yeah, EA Access, uh, well, EA Access would, in my opinion, count as sells. Like, if you are subscribed to it in the long term and, you know, you're booting up EA Access all the time. This is another, another wrinkle in everything. You're booting up EA Access all the time, whether it is to get to, you know, Battlefield 5 Battle Royale mode, what have you, Apex Legends, and you see an ad for the new Stronghold for Anthem, well, you might consider jumping back in, simply because you're, you're already part of EA Access. So that's another uh, thing right there. And I did want to add on to some of what else you had to say. Now, you mentioned No Man's Sky. That's definitely interesting, because No Man's Sky has seen massive improvements, and they just announced No Man's Sky Beyond. So potentially what they could do with Anthem in the future is release a bunch of content, get everything stabilized, and then release like an ultimate version of the game. And, you know, have like a subtitle to this game. That's something that they could do going forward, just like No Man's Sky has uh, is, is apparently doing as well. They're adding a bunch of really cool stuff. All right, so another thread that I did see here is the support for Anthem is basically very real here. Uh... 00812 says this Bioware said Anthem is going to stay. They said they'd keep on supporting it. Well, same goes for me. There are plenty of players that still love the game. And that is very, very true. I think a lot of the players are certainly very patient players uh, as well, uh, considering that, you know, they're still playing the game. They're waiting for the fixes and the content uh, and uh, so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, I did see some replies to that thread, of course, that uh, again... A lot of people are noticing that their friends are playing other games currently. I think that those type of people that are not engaging with Anthem right now are waiting around for something big to happen with the game, something more significant than these incremental updates. Uh, they really want to see a big change with the loot system, and they want to hear about this stuff. And, uh, yeah, the new content, I think, will bring them back in for a short time. But I think the longevity of the game is going to be dependent on that big loot shift, that big loot change that's coming up here in the next couple of months. Uh, but overall, this is all great news for gaming because it says here, consumers in the United States spent $1.5 billion on gaming-related products in February, according to industry tracking from the MPD Group. That's up 4% compared to the $1.1 billion in February 2018. So... That's great news, and honestly, that puts a smile on my face because uh, hopefully that means that, you know, game devs are able to, uh, you know, stay open. I hate hearing about my favorite game developers closing. It always is, like, heartbreaking to hear, you know, someone closes. Uh, you know, mentioning that, the Sleeping Dogs, Dogs uh, developer comes to mind all the time for me personally. I just hate hearing about it in Visceral Games and so on and so forth, so... Yeah, uh, hopefully uh, that means, this all means that, you know, Bioware can just keep going. Because I think we would all agree, we still want to see Bioware make some really good games. And they did say, you know, their upcoming games from Dragon Age uh, franchise is going to be very different from Anthem. Which means I think it's going to be very much uh, what they are used to do. Single player focused, story driven content, a proper RPG uh, like that. Okay, so now it's time to go over your top comments. Remember to leave a comment down below for a chance for it to end up right here in the video. Let's do this. So first top comment comes from Craig who says this, Stat screen is the most key thing in my opinion. All these boosts need to be shown together like Diablo shows your overall stat boost. Very under underappreciated thing that is needed. Again, another top comment about the stat screen. 120 upvotes there. A lot of you guys just want to see 
a freaking stat screen. Honestly, that should have definitely been in the game at launch. Like, no doubt, considering how much RPG mechanics are in this game and stuff running under the hood that influences what's going on with your javelin, you definitely need a stat screen going forward. Next up, Jeff says this. I admit I didn't bother to watch the live stream because I knew I could just watch your summary. <laughs> appreciate that. You got like 55 upvotes from one of the top comments. So appreciate that, guys, that uh, you came back to, uh, you know, Open World Games here and watch the recap. Now, if you did miss the recap of what's coming up next week for Anthem in the big update, it's 104. Check out that video here on the channel. It's going to give you a lot of details with the leasing keys, the leasing chest. It talks about a bunch of other changes. It talks about Apex bosses and legendary missions and so on and so forth. So, really, some pretty neat stuff is coming up. It's not like brand, brand, brand new content like a new stronghold or anything like that. But apparently, we're going to be seeing that potentially in the next live stream from Bioware. It's like uh, them showing off something new related to upcoming content. I'm thinking it is going to be uh, the new stronghold that they will be showing off. All right, next con comment comes from Levi. 6457R, who says, this game should add jet flame color customization. Yeah, that would be really cool uh, to see. It would also be cool to see some sort of smoke trails that you can, like, give off every now and again that could be colored. I don't want it to get too wacky, to be blunt. I, I mean, you can get pretty wacky with it anyway already with the customization. You can go all in. So maybe they should just keep going with it. But uh, they could do a lot of cool stuff in the future with that, especially if they tie into racing and stunts, which... Uh, Seems to be something that could be uh, added to the game, given that, again, that they've mentioned racing in the lore. But guys, there it is, your latest news about all things Anthem. Thank you guys so much for the love and support again on the video. Stay tuned here to Opal Games. And let me know, by the way, what else you want to see on the channel. I am only one person. I do stream. Check out my streams, by the way. You can sit in on those. See the description below if you want to. Drop in and say hello. But guys, yeah, stay tuned for more. And I will see you next time. Take care.